So you're sitting there editing some videos when suddenly your computer notifies you that you're done editing because there is not enough space left on your hard drive. Well, let me show you how to use a solid state drive to keep that from ever happening again. Hey everyone, Cambry here showing you how to use your camera to make good videos. So if you're new, consider subscribing. And if you wanna keep your computer running fast while not running out of space while editing videos, then you really need to invest in an external solid state drive to make that happen. This Samsung T5 external solid state drive works great for editing 4K video on my MacBook. So let's look at a few reasons why this will help you keep everything running quickly for your video work. First off, 4K produces some really big file sizes, which will start to fill up your computer space really quickly. And when most people are buying a computer, they're probably going to opt for the lower cost computer with the smaller hard drive rather than shelling out an extra thousand dollars or more for space when you can get that same amount of space in a tiny external drive for way cheaper. I mean, look at this thing. It's about a third the size of my iPhone Max and it fits easily in my camera bag. So I can take it anywhere, like right now in this hotel room when I'm on a trip. But I'm assuming you're watching this because you need more space, so let me know down in the comments how big your computer's hard drive is and how much space you have left. But the thing is, even if you do pay for more space, like I did with this MacBook upgrading to one terabyte, that space will still get taken up very quickly by everything else you store on your computer. I ended up buying this about six months ago because the project file for my last short film, Bedtime, that I shot all in 4K, took up almost 900 gigabytes of space. And I did not have enough room for that to be stored on my computer. But with this two terabyte solid state drive, I was able to take the footage anywhere and edit it with no problems. I got the black one, but it also comes in blue, gold, and red, but the two terabyte version isn't available in all the colors. So having space on your computer is an obvious benefit, but in order for you to understand its better editing performance, I wanna make sure that you know there's a difference between a hard disk drive and a solid state drive. You'll find that the hard drive is cheaper than the solid state drive, and there are some reasons for that. A hard disk drive is a physical disk that spins, whereas a solid state drive has no moving parts. Because of this, the solid state drive will provide almost immediate access to the files on the disk, giving you way faster read and write speeds that are necessary for 4K video editing. And because of the spinning disk, a hard drive is also more susceptible to data loss if dropped whereas a solid state drive is a lot less likely to suffer damage from the same type of shock. The solid state drive is also quiet because it's not constantly reading and writing to a moving disk like the hard drive is doing and making noise while you're trying to work. So hopefully it's obvious to you that you need an external solid state drive not only to free up the space on your computer but also to guarantee the speed needed to edit that high quality footage but you also need to be aware of your computer's connection speed. This Samsung T5 comes with a USB 3.1 interface, giving up to 540 megabytes per second on the read speed and 515 megabytes per second on the write speed, with both the new USB-C connector that all the new MacBooks use and a USB-A connector for older models. However, if you have an older computer that only has a USB 2.0 connection, then you're gonna be limited to about 60 megabytes per second, which won't quite cut it for editing that 4K footage. But I've used a lot of external hard drives and I definitely suggest the two terabyte version of this Samsung solid state drive. And I know you may think, I don't need that much space, but I used to think the same thing when I only edited 1080 footage, but with all cameras now pretty much having 4K capabilities and now new cameras like the Canon R5 coming out soon with its 8K RAW options, file sizes are only getting bigger and you don't wanna end up wishing you had bought the bigger size later on when you realize you ran out of space. But as always, go ahead and post any questions you have down in the comments. And if you want more help on a personalized level in your filmmaking journey, then go ahead and join my private Facebook group linked below. And if this video was helpful, then please help me out. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you soon.